Emanuel High School student is giving thousands of people a voice. WDRB Stefan Johnson shows us how he turned a class assignment into a life changing invention. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always been like fascinated with robotics. Varun Chandrasekhar is a senior at Manuel High School and he's also an inventor. For my research projects every year, I just choose something and create whatever um, I think will help the community. This year, Varun turned a class assignment into an invention that could help thousands, maybe even millions of people. I named my device Speak Up. The device was developed as part of an AP research project that could eventually give a voice to people suffering from ALS, Parkinson's disease, cerebral palsy, and anyone else who can't speak. I developed this technology originally for people who are paralyzed because paralyzed people can't use the muscles in their throat to communicate but they still, their brain still sends electrical signals to their speech system. Varun says the device works by capturing and recording those electrical signals from the brain. And I'm able to determine what a person is trying to say by translating those electrical signals into words by using different machine learning algorithms. Varun says part of his motivation came from someone he's never even met. It just perplexes me that people of that status are still not able to get the speech aid technology or like or like some type of technology that actually helps them speak. The late Dr. Stephen Hawking was a physicist, cosmologist, and author who suffered from ALS. It took Hawking like several minutes to just say out a few sentences or words. With this technology around, he would have been able to say so much more. Varun is applying to college at MIT where he hopes to fine tune the technology. My application will go through on November 1st and we'll see if I get in. I'm one of the people who's writing his letter of recommendation. Alicia Williams is Varun's AP teacher and says he has a lot of qualities that will help him succeed at MIT and eventually change the world. So he'd be able to go to a place like MIT and take every opportunity and hopefully, yes, ultimately change the world because he would be able to create things that would make people's lives better. Meanwhile, the pandemic has limited his access to patients, but he has tested the device on himself. I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB news.